Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Boyle with this week's health kick. I love it, health kick. That means, listen, bend over and I am going to wind up and I'm going to give you a kick because this is what I find, that too many of us need a swift kick right in the you-know-what to get their body healthy, to get our body healthy. What is it going to take to get you off the couch and start taking care of yourself? What is it going to take to get you to make better choices when you go out every day? Listen, I'm not saying you're never going to have a soda or you're never going to have some a food that you know maybe isn't on the best chart. I have, I have some junk food once in a while, but the reality is day to day, 95% of your intake has to be healthy, living, exciting food. What did I want to talk to you about today? This is what I want to talk to you about. I'm excited about it. I just spent a weekend with some of the elite most elite chiropractors on the planet. Uh, I belong to a group, it's called the uh, Knights of the Round Table, Chiropractic Knights of the Round Table, and they're some of the most successful uh, and intelligent, articulate, motivated chiropractors on the planet. And I gotta tell you, one of the things everybody shares an idea or something that uh, they wanna bring to the group as a mastermind, and one of the things that I, I uh, shared with a, with a, a colleague of mine, his name's Dr. Jeff, Shabowski, and he talked about working out. What I really loved about his protocol and his program uh, that he shared with us, and it's, it certainly wasn't something he developed, it was something that was shared with him, and I want to share it with you guys, is the idea of weight training, resistance weight training. Uh, we talk about working out, we got to talk about going to the gym and so forth, but I like uh, many of you guys, you know, hey, I'm getting older, I'm almost 50 years old, and uh, you know, I've played a lot of sports, I've got injury to my shoulder and my knee, and those joints don't hold up like they used to, so when I'm doing a lot of heavy pounding and exercises and so forth, often it takes a toll. Uh, on me. So what Jeff talked about, Dr. Jeff, I should say, talked about this week and was resistance training. It really goes back to the uh, Nautilus days. What happened uh, with Nautilus, when you talk, when I talk about Nautilus, I'm talking about the workout machines and so forth. Uh, they were actually studying osteoporosis and they were taking women over a certain age saying, hey, look at if we do resistance training, is it possible to get them to grow more bone, denser bones? And not only did they find that, one of the positive fi findings uh, were, were a myriad of other benefits to the body. What they found was that the muscles grew dramatically and the cardiovascular, their endurance, their aerobic activity uh, ability grew dramatically as well. And it was all from resistance training. And they found that their aerobic activity grew as well, as well as, as well as, as if they did aerobic workouts. And they weren't doing what they considered to be a traditional aerobic workout. What does that mean? running, treadmill, elliptical rider. You're on this thing, you're doing this, and I'm not saying not to do it, it's good, and it builds you aerobically, it burns calories, burns fat, I think that's all great, but what they found was if you worked out, you ready for this, it's gonna blow your mind, and the science has proven it, so it's no, it's no quick scheme on the, on the TV, 20 to 25 minutes, two times a week. I'm gonna say that one more time, because I know some of you guys are having trouble believing it. 20 to 25 minutes, two times a week. And what they found was, through slow resistance training, the individuals grew more strength than if they did typical eccentric, concentric, where you're doing repetitions, we're using momentum, we're using fast movement. They grew more than traditional weight training, weight resistance training, and their aerobic activity grew equally, or I'm sorry, superior to the group that just did aerobic training. Is that unbelievable? So not only am I gonna grow aerobically, I'm also gonna grow anaerobically. I'm gonna grow, my cardiovascular is gonna improve and my muscle. Now why is that? Because your muscle drives your cardiovascular, meaning the bigger, stronger your muscles are, the bigger heart, the better your lungs need to be to supply them with what they need. Energy, oxygen, blood, that's what they love. So your body, by, by developing this, will automatically develop this. It'll automatically develop this. Just like any other part of your body adapts, to something else, your heart and lung adapt to a leaner, bigger muscle. So all you gotta do is isolate the muscle twice a week. Now why twice a week? They found you needed three days between your workouts to get full benefit from the workouts. So you do a full body, 20 to 25 minute workout twice a week. Now you can do aerobics the rest of the week if you want to burn fat, what have you, but they found aer aerobically and anaerobically you grew um, superior than just doing aerobics or just doing traditional weight training. Now, what here's the here's the catch though. During your workout, your set your set has to be uh, two minutes long. So if I'm going to do my chest, my upper body, I'm going to do two minutes only on my chest, and each rep 
meaning the repetition of the workout, I'm using bench press for example, has to be a minimum, a minimum of 10 seconds. So 10 to 15 seconds, that means you're going to use what? 5 to 7 seconds, you're going to do push it up, and 5 to 7 seconds you're going to push down. You're going to do that very slowly until you go to failure. When you're done, you're done with chest. Then you're going to do something else, something else, something else, something else. That's all you need to do. Now on the other days, if you want to do aerobically, uh, aerobic workout, that's great. And what else did you need to do? You got to eat good. So the reality is you can't do that, you know, eat Krispy Kreme. That's not what I'm saying. I smoke cigarettes. And what do we want to eat? We already know that. We want to eat four to five meals every single day. 80, 90% of your meals should be living food. I mean, is that unbelievable? Your body's going to be alkaline. Your body knows exactly what to do with that organic living food that you're putting in your system. You're now you're doing a good workout twice a week with your muscle, which is going to hit your cardiovascular. Do a little cardiovascular, do a little cardio burn, have some fun, changes your life. Changes your life. What they found was, what they found was epigenetics. One of the other brilliant doctors here, Dr. Charles Foster, was talking about epigenetics. I talked to you guys about that before. What they found was it changes your gene expression. So that means that Good and bad. If your parents treated their body horrible, that means their genes are different. Therefore, if they have offspring, you're often sicker because of how your parents treated their body. So it's not genetic in the idea that you passed on some genes, some, some mistake. It's not some mistake. You, their genes adapted to their lifestyle. So if they ate a lot of food and they got fat, you're fat often because, and I don't mean to say that word insensitively, but you're overweight or obese because your parents were. Here's the good news. You taking care of yourself changes your gene expression. So we know through epigenetics, by you taking better care of yourself, you'll change your gene expression, which means you stop there. That means your offspring will be healthier because you're healthy. So if you're somebody that came from an unhealthy offspring, if you change your lifestyle, you become healthier, your genes become healthier, you then eliminate the mistakes of your parents, and if you have kids, you pass on a healthier gene expression to them. This isn't some theory, this is 100% scientific fact. And there's no reason why we should be as sick as we are in our society. Why are we? Because our children right now are not going to live as long as their parents. Why is that? Because we're treating our body like a garbage dump. Because human beings are the sickest species on the planet. And that's why I call it a health kick. Because I want to bend you over and give you a swift kick. You know where. Because if we don't make a change, we're going to be the sickest species on the planet in the United States. We're already headed there. That means our productivity is going to go down the tank. That means our health care costs, which are already just going crazy on the rise. Why? That's not because we have an aging population. That's because we have an aging, unhealthy, sick population. We should be living 80 to 100 plus years healthy. Life is supposed to be like a candle burning brightly until it blows out. You're not supposed to be reading your Medicare Part D worried about how many freaking drugs you're taking. That's not what the, what the society is supposed to be like. We are the most technologically advanced society on the planet in the United States, and yet we're the dumbest when it comes to taking care of our, taking care of our body. I hope this health kick is getting into your head and helping you make some changes. If you like what I have to say, if you like what I have to do, then review our other health kicks. We got them on diabetes, on nutrition, on exercise, all kinds of great stuff. Just reading those alone ought to change your life. And we'd love to have you part of our practice. So if you're local, give me a call. If you're looking for an exciting, passionate healthcare provider, chiropractor, because you need to be on a chiropractic care, so does your whole family, what you need to do is you need to call my office and I'll make sure you get to somebody who's going to practice wellness care. And guys, in signing off, remember, you need to eat well. You need to exercise. You need to put positive thoughts in your head. You need to drink a lot of water. You get, need to good, get a good night's sleep. And you and your mother and your father and your coworker and everybody you know and everybody you care about, you got to scream to them and tell them they need to be on a chiropractic care. Get their spine healthy because the straighter you are, the healthier you are. You need to get the brain messages from the body, from the brain to the body and the body to the brain. That's what it is we do. Guys, have a great week. Spend time with your family. Serve friends and family and neighbors with good, loving time. Change the world just by what you do. Remember what Gandhi taught us. Be the change you wish to see. My best friend gave me the best advice. He said each day's a gift and not a given right.
Leave no stone unturned 